BTS Auto man, we back at it. You know, more work being done. We had the pleasure to meet my brother, Professor Yahweh. He's a soon to be customer. We got yes, a 73 yes, convertible. He, he followed the channel. He actually came up. You know, a lot of times in business, you know when people are serious, when they come see you face to face, they want to meet you. Like, I'm looking for a, a, a bulldog puppy right now. I want to get more intimate with the people that I'm trying to buy this puppy from. So I know things when you have a sign that you really want to do something you're interested. So he came in, we gave him a tour of the shop, showed him some of the things behind the scene, what we're doing. This work here is what everybody want to know. And they want to know what things that need to be done, especially as a, a young builder, because you, you've never built before. So you, you need to be educated on what it takes to build one of these type of cars, because it's not like you're buying a car from the dealer, you know? Right. And, you know, you almost got to go back and look at the process. After you showed what you were doing in the car, I had to go back and look at the assembly line, how they make cars, to understand the process and why certain things are done in that order. Now, all of this stuff right here is Monte Carlo. This is the wheel this fuel is. system. This is, is why, yep. you know, the, the LS motor yeah, got two fuel split. rails. Yep. So split. your main fuel line coming from your fuel pump comes here. Yep. This shoot to both your ejectors, yep. fuel rail left side, fuel rail right side, and then both of those come to the regulator. The return line from the regulator comes back to the return to the tank. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, this is a fuel filter that got to be in line and somewhere. And Firing system. Yeah, that's real. That's the main system. These are the injectors. Yeah, I'm gonna check those all this wheel stuff. And then this is wheel. I think I'm gonna let, I think I'm gonna let me and Mr. Rich tackle this. This man is following. I'm a cripple. You know, I f with the wires and I just ain't really feel like doing it, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hard hat on and let him know. We are a dealer of, for the heat, for the heat flashes. We are a dealer of American Auto Wire. Um, Route 22 is probably what I'm gonna use on mine. They make real good harness. Most builders of choice kind of use those. Painless make a good wire kit too. You know, I kind of want to see. They actually got a nice custom kit for the mining collar fits and bolts in everywhere like the factory did. They just have more outputs, you know, so when you can add the minutes of the things that we're doing now, you know, back in the day, they didn't have dual power fans. Where it got, the, you know, the fan relay, didn't have a fan relay because they didn't have electronic fan back then. All of that stuff is built into a factory mounting everything looking existing OEM, but you got those additional outputs where we don't have to go buy you know, relays and things like that for, you know, he's not even going to the power windows, but if we wanted to add power windows, we already got a relay on the inside. Flash lights, flashes, fuses, headlight switch, main fuse box. Be the tail light hookup. That should be the front end. Okay, this one. Right. No, they're probably the housing. This probably run from the from the. Uh, yeah, that's what you got to put in. It's from the front to back, and that's what it sits in the uh, rear house. So mm -hmm. like. Just needs to be stripped. In the red, just, just 
Solid. No bubbles. What you see on the car is, is from a bad job of painting. With a with a with a paint with a paint chipped off, mm. and then the, you know they just kept weather, adding paint to it. <laughs> where the surface rust kind of added to it, but like Mr. Rich say, once you strip this hood to the metal, it's probably gonna be a clean deck lid. Real yeah. deck lid. It's probably gonna be clean. Yeah, I mean, it's got no no bumps across, which is you know the first thing we look for is the swelling. Mm -hmm. It's got no swelling, so. But the quarters are junk. This is this is gonna have, they have the usual strip and go. Yeah. But I don't know how high up they went with the fiberglass. And that's another thing we got to do. All of this stuff. All of oh, this stuff. Oh, it's fiberglass up here too. All of this stuff right here got to be peeled off. Yep. And what people do is they put this in there to cover up how bad of a job they did. You know. Yeah, like out the what Mr. Rich did to the bottom side of that car. By the time we done, man, you can almost prep it, paint it, and it's gonna have the contours that you want. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to put this on there. We're gonna put sound head on it for the, the aesthetics of sound to make sure the muffler don't the noise don't get inside the car. This was more of a hide. This cover and up. This is this is the undercoat that they put on on top of this fiberglass because they fiber they did it. They took some time doing it, but they sprayed some nice thick undercoat on. But when you look down in here. Put on top of fiberglass mesh. The only thing Chevrolet produced fiberglass was the uh, Corvette. Not the Caprice. Not the Caprice. <laughs> Not the Caprice. Yeah. That beam's rotted now out. This, but th from this beam, that's where the flow pan Attach meets it. the trunk, right. which is this part of the trunk. You right. know, he supposedly have this piece all the way forward to the firewall. Well, that's, he's so, going to need the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but if he do. The good thing about that, that will be the first complete floor pan we've done here. Yeah, yeah. Probably nice. going to have to do a lot of bracing, you know what I mean? Once you take that out, that's different than what we already do. But Because he's going to be removing the complete floor. And then we got to figure out how we're going to put the new floor in. Are we going to come from the bottom up? It's probably going to have to come from the bottom up. You're not going to be No, it's going to gonna no, it's gonna drop in. It got to drop in from the yeah, top? Yeah, it's a drop from the top. I was just thinking of the way it welds. Yeah, it's a top drop. They, they just dumped them in and plug welded them here and there. Mr. Rich, the guy, he spent some money on the car, you know, look at the, look at the, look at the brakes, you they know. They cut the front cross member. Uh, yeah, they did Mickey the Mouse. These are homemade pants. Yeah. These are homemade. It's clean. It looks like new, right? They did the beauty. Yeah, somebody coated the floor in glass. Trying to make it last long. It's all the way across. All the way across this side too. All glass. They did a nice job glassing it. I mean, they laid the glass down nice. So that means all that's got to be stripped. All that got to come out. And then once you strip it, you're going to find out why they put the glass on. <laughs>